What's up, y'all? I thought I'd bring you a VeChain and XRP update. With the whole market uh, dumping, I'd like to run through some technical analysis and just kind of talk about what I see happening. So let's start off with VeChain here. With VeChain, we are we broke out bullishly, but it seemed to be a fake out. We had a bearish engulfing candle, and now we're moving to the downside. We are currently testing the 20 EMA on the daily. If we cannot hold above the 155 on VeChain, I think we're likely to see continuation to the downside as well. Looking at the daily RSI making lower highs. Uh, ooh, is that a bearish crossover on the daily for VeChain? That could be. Guys, there's a, a solid chance if we cannot hold the uh, 20 EMA on the daily that we will see prolonged downtrending, uh, at least in the sh relatively short term. Uh, although on the four hour, we're starting to see signs of a potential bullish reversal, for example. RSI making higher highs, MACD histogram taken up on the four hour. Also, we had a bullish engulfing candle and we're starting to get a few candles to the upside. But ultimately, this doesn't tell me a whole lot because we're really just range bound, guys. We need to leave the 1.7 to the one, the one five five region to know whether we're going to continue uh, trending down or up. Ultimately, we need to also keep our eye out for Bitcoin and Ethereum because they lead the market now. Moving on to XRP. XRP as well is testing the 20 EMA here on the daily. If we cannot maintain above the 20 EMA on the daily, that is no good. Um, yeah, let's take a look here at this. Yeah, so on the daily XRP, uh, this is looking far more bearish. Uh, bearish crossover in the MACD. Our side continuing to just uh, dump uh, decreasing volume and in fact increasing sell volume. Uh, XRP, this is not looking this is not looking too hot for the moment. Let's zoom in a bit more. Yeah, see we're even being rejected off the 100 EMA on the four hour. I think there's a chance we could go back down and retest the 200 EMA on the uh, on the on the four hour here. Guys, if you would have followed our uh, our uh, Discord, you would have been tipped off um, to this. Also, guys, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and share. It really does help with the channel. And I talked about this possibility a few days ago, about XRP correcting down to the 200 EMA on the 4-hour. And it pretty much happened. So, guys, if you could, you know, if you do like, subscribe, comment, and share, and hit the bell icon, it really does help out the channel. We, we appreciate everyone who does. It, like, it helps out with the algorithm. So, you know, uh, appreciate all of you who help us out. Uh, yeah, so... So to continue with this TA, yeah, decreasing volume, we're getting rejected off the 100 uh, EMA. Okay, see, that makes sense. We found support on the 3-hour 200 EMA, and we're just, again, we're just range-bound within our EMAs here. We have a bunch of EMAs above us. That's not good, and we're currently kind of ho holding support on the uh, on the 200 EMA on the 3-hour. But, guys, the fact that we had a bullish engulfing candle, a little, another uh, green candle, but then... Uh, a, a, another bearish engulfing candle um, right below extended resistance here with this wedge line that's uh, that's not good see this line over here after our bullish breakout was acting as support now that we've broken down it's now acting as resistance so it's not good see as well on the hourly uh, we're getting rejected off the 20 EMA. For us to see a bullish reversal, we want to uh, hold the 20 EMA as support on the hourly. Once we do, once we can start to hold, uh, flip some of our EMAs uh, as support on you know these, some of these smaller time frames, that's when we could start uh, thinking about a potential uh, bullish reversal. But uh, for the moment, price action still looks bearish. Uh, we could definitely see continuation of a bearish trend for sure. Although, um, on the hourly, the MACD and RSI are telling me we definitely have room to go up. We had a um, bullish crossover on the hourly, uh, RSI making higher highs. So, we could we could potentially go up, although we're getting decreasing volume and we're getting rejected off our, our uh, EMAs here. So, guys, ultimately, we need to keep our eye out for Bitcoin and Ethereum. Uh, Bitcoin and Ethereum are ultimately doing very similar things to uh, VeChain and XRP, which is they are testing their 20 EMAs on the daily. We need to hold above that to maintain bullish.
Yeah, see, if we go to three hour, yeah, that's where we found support. Yeah. So ultimately, guys, we're we're range bound. So for the altcoin market to remain bullish, we need uh basically Ethereum needs to flip 580 into support. If we cannot, then you know we're likely to see a continuation of downtrend. If if we break below the um three the uh, 200 EMA on the three hour or the four hour, then uh, I would expect prolonged downtrending for sure. As well with Bitcoin, I think if we do see prolonged downtrending, the the low sixteen thousand range makes sense because we had a uh, you know sideways price action movement around here, so it makes sense that we could find support around these regions. As well, that's where our fifty EMA is there on the daily. So if X, if Bitcoin goes for another leg down, I I I would expect maybe sixteen five, sixteen four uh for bitcoin now guys you know this could just be a correction before the next leg up you know uh as long as we're still making lower highs uh the macro trend could still be bullish but we are definitely seeing signs of downtrending in the market guys we and we that could continue so you know if you're a long-term trader like myself this is no this is you know no need to panic okay because um short-term downtrending short-term corrections does not invalidate the long-term a bullish outlook for cryptocurrency now if you're a trader uh you know just be careful make sure you have your stop losses set in place if you have um you know so you know just just be aware that if we do see a correction it's not the end of the world i'm holding for the long term i've been accumulating ethereum all throughout these ranges here so even if we do correct i'm not selling i mean i'm staking my ethereum so i, I couldn't even sell it if i wanted to but um but yeah you know uh, we, we, we may see continued uh downtrending for sure uh, we may not. We ultimately need to see uh, how we break out of our EMAs here, guys. As well, if you do want to trade these markets, I invite you to check out Bybit. They're currently doing a 25 Bitcoin giveaway. So if you sign up with Bybit using our link down in the description below, uh, you get to participate in the Bitcoin giveaway. Uh, as well, guys, I want to mention Token Metrics because Token Metrics is a very powerful platform. They do AI fueled price predictions and portfolio suggestions. I've used Token Metrics in the past to trade very successfully. One of my best trades trades was a 40% ROI trade on Band. Um, so yeah, you know, there's a link down in the description below. Uh, it's on the pricier side, but they do offer uh, like a week long uh, paid trial. It's like 10 bucks or something. So check that out, guys. As well, one of the safest ways to store your crypto is on a ledger. Um, you know, if you were thinking of buying a ledger, consider, uh, you know, uh, clicking on our link down in the description below and buying through our link because it does help out the channel. Um, yeah, you know, those are most of my thoughts for now, guys. You know, we still have we still have the uh, snapshot for XRP on December 12th. So XRP is kind of an outlier in the fact that it has a very bullish catalyst, in my opinion, uh, quickly approaching. Um, so, you know, uh, guys, follow our discord in order to uh, see where the um, who the participating partners are for the snapshot is there uh we have that in our discord so i'll uh, link for that in the description below um yeah i think i'll wrap it up uh there for now y'all uh please don't don't forget to like subscribe comment and share so for now take care